Lucy 语言家教 Welcome to Lucy Language Tutoring. I'm Scott, and this is Lucy. Real English, no textbooks, no classrooms. Today's lesson was produced in Taiwan's capital city of Taipei. Please listen to this recording while reading the lesson. Enjoy today's lesson. It's all coming right now from Lucy Language. Lucy is one of Taiwan's most famous CEOs, and with that comes so many responsibilities that she just doesn't have time to answer her fan mail. She asked me to do it. Earlier this week, I sifted through her mail and found that a lot of Lucy's fans ask her questions about America and Americans. After all, Lucy and I are both Americans, so today we'll explore some of these questions. We'll explore the American mind, how it works, and how it doesn't. The first question from Xiao Fei, a high school student in Taichung: Why do Americans hate umbrellas? I didn't know that we hate umbrellas.、Uh, maybe some of us do. Let's see. How many excuses can I think of for why Americans don't like to use umbrellas? Umbrellas don't work too well in the wind. Also, if you carry an umbrella. It means you think it will rain, and that's kind of negative, you know. If you're looking forward to a beautiful sunny day, of course, compared to Taiwanese, yeah, I think most Americans aren't so quick to open their umbrellas. The Taiwanese that I know will open their umbrella even before it's raining, and then keep it open even after the rain stops. Here's a story. This is a true story. I was in 7-Eleven buying a large hot black coffee, and it started raining outside. People always say that, but you know, it only rains outside. It doesn't rain inside. Okay, back to the story. So it's raining outside, but not raining hard. Just some tiny raindrops, so small. So I didn't bother to take my umbrella out of my bag, but my Taiwanese friend. He had his umbrella open the second we stepped out of 7-Eleven. As always, he told me that my hair would fall out if I let the rain touch my head. I asked him, "What if the rain touches my face? Maybe I won't need to shave every morning." He told me it doesn't work like that. The next question is from Abao in Taoyuan. He wants to know why don't Americans know their blood type? I don't know. Lucy, do you know why?、Uh, that's a no. Well, come on, Taiwanese don't know their blood type either. What's your blood type? O positive. What's your blood type? A positive. What's your blood type? B positive. What's your blood type? A B positive. Uh, okay. Next question. And today's last question from Wei Chun in New Taipei City: Why do Americans wear shoes inside? Today's questions have not been easy ones. What can I say about Americans and shoes? Yes, it is common, very common. However, there are Americans like me and Lucy and many others who take our shoes off at the door. Lucy and I both like to walk barefoot in our house. So we keep the floors clean. There are times when Americans, even the ones who wear shoes inside, will take their shoes off. Like in the winter, that's when shoes are often covered in snow. It would be messy to track snow inside, but it's water and it would dry. But the salt and sand that's used to melt the snow will ruin wood floors and destroy rugs. So most people do remove shoes during winter time. Yeah, so I haven't really answered this question. I think to really know why Americans wear shoes inside, we'll need to study some cultural history, which would really need to include European culture. That's a topic that's best left for some other more qualified people, like the history guy. Maybe someday he'll help us understand this. It's almost time for me to meet Lucy for dinner.
That's all for today, but more fan mail is arriving as I speak. So I'll be back soon with another Ask Me Anything. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. To purchase a copy of today's lesson, including the audio recording, a PDF of the lesson, and answer key, send email to lucylanguage at icloud.com for more details. Lucy, 语言家教。